hello you guys welcome back to another vlog if you're new my name is lauren i don't know if you can tell how congested i am when i speak but i have been so sick all week last weekend was new year's and i was fine like new year's eve was saturday night i woke up sunday fine like i wasn't even like hung over nothing hung out with friends on sunday kind of relaxed honestly i didn't really vlog much on sunday if you saw my vlog from new year's monday i think i kind of like overdid it maybe i deep cleaned the apartment took down all the christmas decorations took down my dad's christmas decorations grocery shopped meal prep like i it wasn't anything out of the norm though i feel like i always kind of do stuff like that and i'm fine but i don't know i was definitely not good tuesday when i woke up i was fine and then i was in the car on my way to work and i was like something isn't right something i just don't feel well something's like not right so i was like sitting at my desk at work and as the time went on I just started to feel worse and worse and then by Tuesday night I was like not good so um, I don't know what I have some type of flu or cold like symptoms I definitely have and had I kind of feel a little bit better not as like body achy but I have congestion I like don't feel like 100% in my head I can't really hear <laughs> and yeah but i'm really lucky that i got to work from home i unfortunately couldn't take any sick days or pto because i didn't i don't get those until six months into my job so i would have to take it unpaid and um i have a bachelorette trip coming up and two weddings coming up and i'm taking those unpaid so i just couldn't take the time off so i'm really lucky and glad that i got to work from home those days because yeah it was just not an option to take off and um yeah so it's really hard as an adult when like it's not like you're in school when you're young and you're in high school or middle school and you could just like take time off of school and it's fine like it just kind of sucks being an adult and working when you really don't feel well so it put me a little bit behind on youtube as well i finally just like uploaded my christmas vlog yesterday because i finally had the energy to continue editing it so i had to kind of put that on the back burner so i could really focus on work and then sleep and trying to get better and get my immune system back but i thought i would feel better than i do today but i really like vlogging and i enjoy vlogging so anyways that's what's going on i have a lot of fun exciting trips coming up which leads me into like me being sick and like not being able to take time off i have a lot of fun exciting trips coming up i'm gonna be cutting out every time i cough because i'm like still coughing um yeah, I'm going to Tulum in February. I have two weddings in March, one the first weekend and one the last weekend. And then Christian and I have a wedding in Europe in September. So it's gonna be in Italy. We're gonna make a huge trip out of it. We're gonna spend more time over there because we both have never been to Europe before. So we're gonna hop around and go to different places in Europe. So I'm really trying to save that PTO for that as well once i do get the pto from my job but um so since i am going on that big trip in september to europe i'm really trying to focus on need versus want really saving a big chunk of money so i can truly enjoy myself there so i'm really excited so big new year's resolution for me is definitely saving a ton of money um for that trip so that's one of my big new year's resolutions because i'm so excited to go and i've never been and we obviously just want to have like the best time and the most incredible trip so um yeah i'm really excited so i had to power through this week with a sickness which is fine um so that way when i take off in february for tulum and then in march i'm like fine because i'm taking those days unpaid so i'd rather not add to that you know but anyways, this is like a long catch-up spiel, but I had like an update and it's the new year and 
we're off to a rough start with the sickness, but it's fine. We're powering through. Speaking of health and wellness, um, I got a big package in from One Up Nutrition. They, I've been working with them for a year, almost, and I can't believe it. Truly one of my favorite companies to work with and I use their products and supplements on a daily basis and I've been using them for over a year. Um, I started working with them almost a year ago and I was using their products probably probably like six to eight months before I started working with them. So I've been using their products for over a year and a half and truly can't say enough good things about them. In this box, they released new flavors. I think all these products are available on their site already. Like it's not a new product, but it's a new flavor for the product. So I'm really excited about all of them and I really wanted to share them with you guys. Um, I drink their protein coffee every single day. I drink their greens. I love their immunity shots. I just truly love their supplements. They came out with a 1UP whey protein in the s'mores flavor and I'm so excited. I wonder if this would be good for coffee. I do love protein coffee like I mentioned and maybe this could be like a really good flavor for my coffee in the morning. So I'm excited about that. You could totally also make it into a smoothie with like a banana or something like that, some almond milk, and it'd be a really good smoothie too. Collagen peptides, this would also be really good to add to coffee. Um, it's in the mocha flavor, which sounds really good. So I'm excited about this. I know they have tons of other flavors and I've tried their hazelnut flavor before, which is good. This would also be an option instead of adding the whey protein in. This has 18 grams of protein and it also has the collagen benefit in it. So this would also be a great option if you're wanting to start adding collagen and protein in to your morning coffee just to get that extra little boost. This I'm really excited about because I've never actually taken something like this before. It's the Pure Rebuild. It's a lean muscle builder and you're supposed to take it after your workout. And I've just never taken something like this before, but they've already obviously had this on their site. They just released the strawberry kiwi flavor, which sounds really yummy. Yeah, I guess it's just supposed to help build lean muscle, support strength, power, and endurance, and rebuild and recover from the toughest workouts. So I'm really excited to try this they have really good flavors in basically everything i haven't come across a flavor from one up that i haven't liked oh this is the kickstart wellness shot when they first released this they didn't have flavors it was a very intense wellness shot like it was kind of hard to take and usually i'm not a wimp with stuff like that like i take apple cider vinegar like no issue like i can take most things without like it being disgusting especially if it's like good for me i'm like suck it up lauren like you're fine but they just released a new flavor in peach so i'm excited that sounds really good they also have a mango and a pineapple flavor and those are really good as well i have those actually in my cabinet so i'm excited to try the peach wellness shot lastly is the greens and red superfood plus and this one has the digestive enzymes in it. And I really like all their flavors. I'm kind of interested in this flavor. It's chocolate. So I don't think I'll be doing it with morning lemon water, which usually all their flavors are kind of like fruity. And I can just add like lemon to it and kind of make it into like my morning lemon water with greens, which I take this basically every single day. Um, but I'm excited to try the chocolate. It might be good like in the afternoon i don't know if i would want chocolate in the morning but maybe in the afternoon or the evening as like a little added digestive drink so i'm excited to try this so i just wanted to share that with you guys catch up with you guys just chit chat for a little bit um i'm probably about to start cooking breakfast which i'm really excited about i want some bacon eggs and english muffin it sounds so good so i'm probably about to cook that for christian and i but yeah i just wanted to go ahead and start off the vlog i know it was really chit chatty but <laughs>
Okay, I'm basically out of coffee beans. I have the littlest bit left and that's not enough for tomorrow. I don't know what happened with my La Cologne beans, but I guess with the holidays and the new year, everything was backed up. So they haven't come in yet, even though I'm on like a subscription service with them. So I don't know what happened. I emailed them and they said that they should ship out. So I haven't had enough coffee. Usually they would have already arrived by now. They should have gotten here earlier this week, but they just didn't with the delays of the holidays. So I need to get coffee beans. And I've said this before that store-bought coffee beans just don't work well with the Breville Barista Touch. It's best to use kind of local coffee beans, especially ones that have a roast date that is relatively close to the day that you're going to be using them. Christian and I went to this coffee shop. I was actually supposed to go there this morning with Taylor and Maya, but we ended up not going. So we went there this afternoon and I picked up some of their coffee beans. I got this blend and i'm gonna try them out and see how they do in the machine i've never been to this coffee shop before so it was nice and i'm excited to go back one day with taylor and maya hopefully sometime soon so i'm gonna try these out and wait for my la cologne beans to come in the mail but i'm gonna fill up my jar and then fill up this so that way i can make coffee tomorrow and for the rest of the week until my other beans come in but i wanted to share sounds really good Honeysuckle and lime with a black tea aroma and a hazelnut sweetness and some medium roast. Go we'll try them out. I got Chipotle for dinner. I placed an order online and picked it up. I have been craving this. I, for the whole entire week, ate my meal prep, which I didn't even really want, but I didn't want to waste the food that I prepped for my lunches. So I like ate my meal prep for lunch and I ate at home for dinner all week and I'm just like still like not feeling like 100% and all I wanted was some Chipotle. So I went and got it. That's that. So I'm just gonna sit on the couch. I got their queso. I know this is like such an unpopular opinion, but I actually really like their queso. And I just eat it with the Siete chips. Chipotle's chips are really good, but I have these chips at home, so I just didn't want to pay for their chips. And then I get a bowl. You probably don't care what I get, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. Sometimes I get a salad if I like I'm wanting a salad. Today I got a bowl with brown rice, black beans. I always get their steak. I really like their steak. I think it's good. Very salty, but good. And it's like kind of spicy. And then I get their mild and then I get lettuce, but they kind of like didn't give me a lot of lettuce. And then I got their queso. Oh wait, I also get their fajita veggies, which I don't see in here. Yeah, I don't really see it in here. And I also don't mix up my burrito bowl. I just eat it from side to side. Do you guys eat your burrito bowls from side to side or do you shake it? Christian shakes it and I don't. So we're very opposite with that. This is honestly like all I wanted. I'm going to eat. We've just been sitting on the couch. You can probably like kind of tell that I'm nasally and yeah, just not 100%. I'm very congested. I can't wait to take my cough suppressant medicine. I've been taking like Theraflu at nighttime. And it's been like keeping me up tossing and turning and I don't know if it's a subconscious thing Because I read the reviews when I was like looking for medicine I like did like a target pickup and like Christian picked it up after he went to the gym because I could not be bothered to leave the house to get medicine Like I physically could not move I worked half the day at the office and half the day at home because like at 12 I was like I physically don't think I could work here anymore Like the lighting was so bright in the office that I was like I need to sit in a dark room. So I literally sat in my apartment with all the blinds closed, all the lights off, just at my screen, like with it dimmed and finished out the workday. By the end of the workday, I could not open my eyes. I was like in tears taking my medicine. I was like, please just, I need to go to sleep. And I was reading the reviews for the medicine and it told me that it like knocks you out like really hard. And I think that scared me because I have this like fear that's like irrational because I've it's 
has doesn't happen to me often it's like happened to me once but i've still made it to work on time that i'll like sleep through my alarm and like wake up and i'm like not at work haven't woken up haven't gotten ready like there's nothing that scares me more than like missing my alarm but it's like only happened once and i still had like 30 minutes to like get ready and go so plus i am a really light sleeper so i don't really miss my alarm so i think subconsciously that was sitting in my head like Oh, this like knocks you out like you could not wake up for work and so i think that's why it's been keeping me up like tossing and turning but last night i took christian got me a cough suppressant because my cough has been really bad it like kind of knocked me out it like made me really sleepy because i had like nyquil in it and i just think nyquil and dayquil are the best for like cold and flu symptoms because it's always like worked for me. I bounce back after like two days and I'm fine. But this sickness, like I've had it since Tuesday and I've never had a sickness linger this long. I don't know, it's been really weird. Um, but I'm like excited to take my medicine and like knock out. It's 7.45, so I'm gonna take my medicine probably in like 25, 30 minutes. I'm gonna shower and then I'm gonna like knock out and hopefully wake up tomorrow and like feel a little bit better but yeah i still feel kind of just really just not 100 percent, which sucks not feeling well um but it's okay but anyways my battery light is flashing at me so i'm gonna eat and watch some youtube and then go to bed <laughs> Okay, it's the next day I came to Starbucks, which I know I just said yesterday that I'm trying to like save money for a trip. Yes, this was free, but I wanted to try this new drink. I saw it on one of my favorite accounts to follow, which is the Macro Barista, and it's the white chocolate truffle cold brew, and it's a grande cold brew with one pump of white chocolate mocha and then one pump of caramel and then a splash of cream and then you can also add like a packet of sweetener if you want it sweeter but i really think it's gonna be good just how it is it definitely is like white chocolate truffley coffee definitely sweet on its own i really don't think you need that extra packet of sweetener the caramel and the white chocolate definitely make it really sweet even though it's just like one pump of each I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. Definitely must try. Definitely tastes like you're eating one of those like white chocolate truffles. I think the macro barista does such a good job of like creating coffees that are still like super yummy but not so high in sugar. So definitely try this out. I would also follow the macro barista on Instagram. I'll put his name on the screen. He creates so many amazing different flavored coffees like from starbucks i don't think he does like any other chain coffee places other than starbucks but he also does at home coffees as well so i really enjoyed this one i've had it saved for a little bit now and i'm excited that i finally went and tried it so definitely try it so now i'm gonna go to publix i just wanted to try this to treat myself to my free coffee on this beautiful Sunday it's so nice outside it's 78 degrees and yeah it's just really nice outside so I'm gonna go to Publix grab my like three things it's really not that much and then head back home and finish up my laundry <music>
meal prepping and now I'm waiting for Christian to get back. He just ran an errand and then we're gonna go get some dinner. We're actually gonna go get dinner at California Pizza Kitchen. I think he got a gift card from one of his accounts. He's a liquor salesman and I think one of his accounts gave him a gift card to California Pizza Kitchen for Christmas. So I think we're gonna go there for dinner. I sound like, I feel like I sound a little bit more congested right now than I did in the beginning of the day, but maybe I'm just paying a little bit more attention to it. I don't know. I feel a little bit better today. I just don't have my energy and mood back necessarily. Like I'm not super energized or really like pumped to go get anything done. Yeah, it, it took me a second to like drag myself to get the meal prep done, but I know I needed to do it so that way I have stuff for the week for lunches. So it's just something that you, I get to meal prep instead of like I have to. It's all about that, the way that you speak to yourself and how you talk to yourself about the tasks that you get to do on a daily basis. Just start talking about the tasks differently, saying like I get to do this instead of I have to do that. Um, it creates a better idea or mood around certain things that you do that aren't necessarily like super fun, but not when you think about it from a different perspective, not everyone gets to have the luxury of certain things that you get to do on a daily basis. So I'm trying to word things differently so that way there's a better attitude surrounding certain tasks. So instead of I have to, I get to meal prep, I get to go to work, I get to do laundry, I get to do certain things. I just like learned that the way that you like speak about things especially about yourself or things that you do or things that you have, it's really good to talk about those things in a positive way. So that's what I'm trying to do. Anyways, that's what's going on. I'm really glad I finished washing our bed sheets. I'm super excited. I love getting into bed on a Sunday night with clean bed sheets. So I'm excited to shower once I get home and um, do my skincare. And I love getting into like clean, fresh, bed sheets it really just ends the week and starts a new week on such a fresh note anyways yeah that's the update i'm just rambling at this point but yeah very casual for dinner mm -hmm.